and as you've heard, in today's episode of Splatoon 3, we are trying the Slosher Deco. I've really enjoyed the other Slosher types we've tried so far, so hopefully this is more of the same. Let's get started. So the Slosher Deco is a mid-range, high damage, and mid-handling weapon. I mean, overall, it's really good stats. And we have the Angler Shooter and the Ziv Caster as our little special side things here, which, honestly, big fan of both of those. So we'll exchange a ticket for this one and check it out in the practice lobby. So here is our Slosher Deco. It's gonna work very similarly to just a normal Slosher. I think the stats are the same when it comes to the Deco weapons, right? Might be ever so slightly different but it's really the uh, other side thing. So we have this right here, which of course marks an opponent. So we can throw that out. You can see, you know, if you miss, it, it's not very useful, but if you do hit somebody, it tracks exactly where they are so that you can find them. And it does a little bit of damage to them too. So this is definitely a little bit more of an offensive one in terms of, you know, attacking people and also helping out our teammates. But once we find them, we activate the zip caster, jump over to them, slash them a little bit, jump over here. You know, you can go really crazy with this, cover up some turf, really damage up some opponents. It could be pretty cool. So hopefully we're able to pack a punch here with the slasher deco as we head into some turf war to start things off in today's episode. Right over here, we have Mincemeat Metalworks and Mako Mark to start things off. All right then, so our first round is gonna be in the Mincemeat Metalworks. I'm sort of still in Rainmaker mind mode right now from the last episode, so I'm going to try my best to not focus on that too much. You know, cover up some turf. That's what we gotta do right now. I'm gonna work with our teammate here to make sure that we're not covering up anything that they're trying to cover up, but there's a lot of area to really work on right at the beginning, but we got some good range here. If, oh, come on, I got them a little bit. There we go, our teammate was able to help us out a little bit there. I think I want to head up here, see where they are at, and try to get them. Oh, I think I did, awesome. So, I saw you over there a little bit. There we go, the range on this is pretty nice. So let's jump over here. I might go a little bit crazy trying to get them. Uh, my aim did not help me, but luckily the timeout on it really saved me. Oh, goodness. All right, let's get over there. I somehow just barely missed them with that. And I think that if we aim this correctly, yeah, we can maybe uh, splat them a little bit. We were damaging them for sure. I gotta be careful though. I think right now I'm not just really managing my ink super well. And if they jump through the sort of leftover trail that that's there, it does still splat them or get them, attracts them. Um, remember we have uphill advantage a lot with a weapon like this. So we just need to keep that in mind and make the most of it. I don't know. A little bit of trouble here. I want to back up. Cover up whatever turf I can and splat the opponents. Huge, huge. They got more people over here though, which I'm very concerned about. I got them though. Okay, really big. Let's not get hit by that. Darn, did not see that until it was too late. They were so excited by it. Okay, so let's jump over here. Oh, I thought I saw those bits of orange and thought it was the enemy ink. Nope, it's just that, those random platforms. Okay, so. Somebody tracked you. I wanna track this one. And then, I don't know if they realize they're tracked, but we can get them pretty easily now because of that. Come on, gotcha. And then I see all this happening over here. I might be able to spot a couple of people from it. I got one of them, so that's pretty big. I think I'm just gonna jump over here, cover up whatever turf I can. Yeah, jump over here then, and then just go, go, go. Just trying to be a big nuisance to everybody. And we're right back up. I was exactly right where I started, went full circle. Okay, come on. Gotta focus on covering up ink. It's really fun to, you know, splat enemies and stuff. This is a risky maneuver. Okay. But I need to remember that the number one thing I can do here is cover turf. And somewhere up there, yep, there's an opponent running around. I'm just gonna cover that stuff up. Do what we can over here because it seems like they really got stuff covered. They're going crazy on our turf. I think all we can really do here is offer to do the same to them. Okay, so yeah, get over here really quickly and then jump over this way and what are you gonna do about it? I'm off over here in your own spawn area. Okay, so did we win from all of that nonsense? I really hope so. We're gonna have to wait and see because it is still pretty close. I covered up as much turf as I can muster, but unfortunately it's just still not enough. And that's the one thing about the Slosher Deco that I might be a little bit worried about here in Turf War is that, you know, I'm swinging out that ink as much as I can, but I feel like it's more about getting splats for the slasher. They all had the same dance except for that one. Um, but yeah, I just 
I, I covered up whatever turf I could. I feel like I got a good score. 862, we got number one overall splatter, a couple of other gold medals. We certainly didn't do bad, but it still wasn't enough. But that being said, I might wanna change my gear up a little bit, just so that we are wearing gear that we can level up a bit more. So if there's anything that's maybe missing a couple of slots, like these retro blue focals, I have this ink black paddle jack, and then lastly, the shoes. Um, well, let's just keep with this color scheme and go with the arrow pull-ons. Pretty cool, let's keep it going. All right then, so now we're doing Turf War at Mako Mart. Definitely gonna try my best here, but I think really if we wanna have a winning strategy, our best bet is going to be splatting the opponents, giving our teammates openings to cover up some turf. So really something I'm focused on, this is obviously a very splat-focused kid. All right, somehow, oh, I, I missed it, but then they walked through it. So able to get them there and able to finish them off with a splat. So that's exactly what I mean, exactly what I'm talking about and hoping for. Um, I got them a little bit there, but now I'm out of ink. I'm in sort of a bit of trouble, so I'm going to try to catch up to them in some ways, maybe even get right in front of them. I'm not letting them run away from me. <laughs> that was cool. Whoa, okay, we gotta get out of here quick. I don't know how, I, I sort of rolled forward there for a moment. I don't know how I did that, but we still got the splat. We are on fire right now, and I wanna keep it this way. So we're gonna get over here. Oh boy, super exciting so far. We know exactly where they are. They got the shield on them at the moment though, which isn't super good. Ah, oh, they got me there. That's where you gotta be careful being under there. If you run out of ink, they're just gonna point and shoot at you and there's nothing you can really do. So let's maybe clean up some of this. Looks like our teammates are on the same wavelength as us, so that's cool. And I definitely I wanna try to get some of them. Unfortunately, I aimed a bit too high there. And all our teammates are jumping to us, so I'm so sorry, teammates. I hope you aren't in too much of an issue for that. Maybe they, they canceled it. I think they did. Change your mind, which is good, because I just wasn't in a good spot. I threw that way too high again, so I just gotta be really careful of decisions like that. Oh, they're trying to get me, but luckily, we're able to survive it. Okay, so. Let's try to get down here a little bit. I don't know why I'm throwing it like that. Sort of making some silly moves in some ways, but I wanna use up as much ink as I can muster. Just really make this thing run low. And then we get up here, because they're not over here at the moment. They're gonna try to come backwards, because, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, okay. I thought I was done for there. Luckily, not the case. I see you over here. Can I get you though? Ah, uh, not quite, I gotta run. I gotta run because this stuff is right on top of me and they really know that, so they're trying to close the distance. I can't breathe because they're right on top of me. Jeez, that was rough. Okay, so let's jump over to somebody, or maybe not, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. So we'll head over here instead and then try to get that person. Didn't quite get them. Yeah, aiming at that distance with this thing, very difficult, maybe not worth doing. Okay, I see them over here. They don't see to, seem to see me yet, so. Oh no, now they definitely do. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Come on, oh, teammates getting them. That was pretty big. And then we'll get over here, try to splat this player. Ah, now I'm in trouble. Okay, got them, got them. Uh, Let's get over here, just cover up whatever we can. Go crazy on it, and just make the most of our time. I'm really liking the Ziv Caster with this weapon combo. It feels great. I think we might have won. Oh yeah, we definitely did. So one loss and one win is our record so far. And I'm just, I'm really liking this. Slasher weapons can be a ton of fun. And this time we got number one super jump spot, damage taker, and ink consumer. So really great results if you ask me. With that done, I think we'll do one more round of turf war. Either win or lose, we'll go to ranked after that, but I'm really feeling this one. You can see we got six spots, three splatted. You know, three times we got spotted, but um, overall, you know, pretty decent. Okay, so we're going for another one here at Mako Mart. With how the last one turned out, it's definitely possible that this could go well too. We both have aerospray spray players and stuff like that, so really just gonna give it my best shot. But as we're working our way through this one, I would love to hear what is your thoughts on the Slosher Deco so far. I'm really liking this weapon, it feels great, and hopefully that can continue as we're playing in ranked and stuff, but right now, who can we splat? Who can we get out that way? Um, I do see you over here. I might be able to sneak up on them and just get get them a little bit, okay? Maybe get over here. I'm just call, trying to cause problems for everybody and then we go all the way back over this way. I did see you over here, so that's another good splat. Yeah, really, so far, uh oh, um, I'm liking the weapon. Obviously, with any weapon, there's gonna be some strengths and weaknesses, but so far, I'm feeling a lot of the strengths for this. 
and we did pretty good with some of the other slasher types, like the base slasher and the tri slasher were two other weapons we tried, and I really liked them. I thought they felt great, so we'll see how this one goes. If it's gonna be more of the same or not, but so far, so good. I'm gonna try to get over here, really sneak up on them, and we're able to do it. Their teammate is over here. I'm just gonna <laughs> skedaddle, but the more we're using the zip caster, the more I could really get into that. Okay, they're throwing that that booyah bomb, and I don't want to be a victim of that. So they're just trying to run from me right now. Very weird. <laughs> they were able to sort of get away. I spotted them eventually, but not without a trade. So that was a good move by them. There's somebody over there we need to deal with really quick. So, but yeah, this sort of has some of the fun, sort of fast pacings I enjoy about other sort of turf war kind of weapons, like you know the air spray, but. Has some of the other benefits too. Okay, so it looks like our teammates were able to get them. I see you over here. Don't know if we'll quite be able to finish you off, but whoa. Trying to get over there. The range isn't helping me too much here. So I'd like to get back. I see you over this way. Ah, couldn't really get you. No, I did get you. Okay, cool. With one minute left, things are looking good so far. We're trying to keep them stuck in that corner. You know, if there's some stuff to clear up over here, I might as well. And then get back out that way. Come on, go, go, go. I don't know what I was trying to do with that one. Uh, but as we're trying to get up here, we can do some stuff. We actually have another Zipcaster player too. Whoa. Ah, oh, not the, really the trade I was looking for there, but it looks like our teammates are still clearing things up quite well, so maybe it's fine. We still have a, half a minute here. I see you guys down that way. Unfortunately, not quite high enough. I'll be able to splat you. If you have the Booyah Bomb going down that way, I want to sort of divide and conquer here a bit. My aim wasn't the best there, but still able to get a splat out of it. Okay, lots of splats going on everywhere. What can I do here? I can definitely, whoa, try to get you a little bit. Come on, can we get you? We can, and then maybe their teammate don't even need to worry about it. We definitely got a ton of splats in this round. But was it enough to win? I really think so. Boom, 54 to 37. So yeah, three wins, right? Or was it two wins and a loss? I can't remember. Yeah, it was two wins and a loss. So we get overall splatter, popular target, and enemy splatter. Really great stats to have. I think we're good to move to ranked. So yeah, so far, really loving the slasher decal. So next up would be Rainmaker. Not Rainmaker, Splat Zones. Um, we got nine splats that time, so even stepping it up from the last one. And we get some level ups. Let's see what kind of cool new stuff we end up getting for this one. Not too bad. So yeah, we're getting a little bit better with each round. We're gonna stop there. And we started a series last episode with uh, Splat Zones, and today's episode we're gonna continue it. Try to get the extra four ones we need to make this happen. Okay, so our first one will be on Mahi Mahi Resort. And I'm ready just to get out there, get some good in coverage. I might yeah, try to throw that right down there, so if they go around that corner, we'll be able to see them, we'll be able to see them. Uh oh destroy that thing a little bit. And I see them over here, able to splat them, so that's good. And we won this round on this map last time. What we had to do was just play it safe. Once we get the coverage we need, oh no, gotta be careful, because they are everywhere. They're really trying to get us here. Oh, and they got me there. So yeah, once we get the spot, we just need to play it safe. Don't go out too far, but that could be easier said than done. They are trying to take the lead and it looks like they're about to get it, so I'll toss that down. Once again, not low enough. Oh no, uh, maybe back up for a second. They're trying to make it really hard for us to get back out that way, and they're succeeding, they're succeeding. If I could get the zip cast and maybe get behind them, get a couple of spots, that could be our difference maker here, but they're wiping out our team at the moment. This is not feeling so good. The water level is changing though because of all that. Got you. Um, I don't want to mess with that, so I'm going up here. It looks like some of their teammates have already been over here. I'm missing like crazy. Uh, so, trying to get over here. Oh, okay, they lost control at the least. It's not everything, but it's something. There we go, a wipeout. Booyah to our team. And if I could, I don't want to go too far here with that, but if we could just go out ways like that, really try to disrupt everything, and right when they think they're safe is when we show up and start damaging them, them down a little bit. So far, they're not doing too much of that, so we could just show up and do those kind of things like that. And then, oh, I got them good there. So we'll know exactly when they're coming around the corner. If they decide to go up there, that's why this move is so huge. I see another person up there. 
So I missed them there, but I knew that they were coming in. Try to hit them there like that too. And if we just play our cards right, we can just keep them away from this thing and try to take this lead back. Gotta be really careful, because they're gonna try to get up there. Okay, they're gonna use the crab tank right away. We got them! Oh man, that was huge! All right then, so no crab tank for them. We are like simply just playing super duper amazing here. So um, another team wipeout for them. And we win! Wow, what a turnaround. They definitely had a good grip on the game for the first few moments, but we took it back and we were just able to shut them down every time they tried to get close to us. I think that might be honestly one of my best games of Rainmaker or Turf. What What is, what is this game called? <laughs> Whatever it's called. Uh, Splatsit I've ever had. That was really cool. So happy to see that one. Hopefully we can keep her cool and continue to do that. We'll have a couple more games to win to really see. But either way, we get overall splatter, a couple of other things. Those gold medals go a huge way in us getting our points back. Even if we lose the next three, but we get some good gold medals, that can be a huge thing. So that's something we just got to keep in mind. But uh, yeah, so far two wins. If we could win three more times, that'd be excellent. We put 85 points into that one. So that's at least what I'm trying to look to get out of this. Okay, this time we're at Hammerhead Bridge. So hopefully we can make the same thing work. We'll have to wait and see. But I already see a good few of them. I wonder if I could just, yeah, I don't think it's gonna hit anybody. So maybe not the best idea. Just trying to get a couple of those around, but let's just focus on actually covering some stuff up here. All right, I see some opponents over here able to get that splat. They were really trying to get us, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Um, they lost the tower, or not the tower, the control. Good, so they got five points out of that. A little unfortunate, but I'll get over here. Oh man, how did I miss that one? I sort of moved at just the last moment. Okay, them again, we sort of traded. Actually, that might have been a different player. They have two dually players, so they can just roll around like that pretty quickly. But it looks like our team is trying to get it back. We are in the lead now, which is great. I'm in sort of at risk here. Just gonna run over here real fast. And then sort of see where they're at. Okay, uh, my aim got a little wild there. To say the least, I'm struggling, but we traded again. All right, well, with that being said, we're still in the lead here. Were we still in control even? So my teammates could stay in a maybe more helpful spot this time when I jump over. Great. Trying to get over there. They have the, the bubble one. Not a big fan of that, but. Whoa, there is stuff happening everywhere. We're taking some damage from the rain cloud. Run away! Okay. Um. I, uh, my my attention is split. There's people behind me, in front of me. I'm not really doing a good job there. But they're in control now, but they have so much to work through if they want to be able to get this. So let's just do what we can then. Gonna get that onto that platform. And somehow that didn't get them? Huh. Maybe there is like a distance. I'm not really seeing there too much. Anyways, you know what we have? We have the zip caster, so I'm just going to get up here and then get up this way, really try to be annoying to them and mess up everything. I just, my aim was not so good that time. So maybe a little bit of a concern. So far, not really feeling Hammerhead Bridge as much as uh, I was with the other map, but oh, I'm in so much trouble. It looks like once again, I was able to roll when I landed. I didn't know that was a thing for a slosher. I don't know really how I did it. Maybe it's just something I have with my weapons or something, but they're back in control. They're really trying to take this lead at the moment, and they certainly could if, if we don't make the right moves. So, let's get over there and just, ooh, the auto bomb's a little scary, so I might go over this side. Because my teammates are trying to jump to me. Trying to cover up what I can. I'm getting over here. I did not, oh, I pointed way too far down there. I just sort of zip casted right in front of them for them to splat me, so that's a bummer. They lost control though, our teammates are doing okay. But they're about to take the lead here. We lost the lead, but they also lost control. So, oh my goodness, I messed it up. I'm gonna try to keep a you know, full tank of ink here and keep them at bay. They do have a lot of range. I didn't even see you. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So our teammates are trying to do what they can here, but with their lead by one point, they have a one point lead here. So definitely a bit concerning. Teammates are jumping to us again. Keep aiming too high for some things, aiming too low for others. Definitely help out with the Booyah Bomb. I need to get over here and just try to sneak up behind them. There we go. That's actually a pretty big deal. Because now we're, whoa, ah, okay, back over here, back over here. Gonna, oh, get them good this time. 
Got them. Get rid of that sprinkler if we can manage. How did I not get them? Okay, somebody was able to. Let me see you. Oh man, I don't know, I didn't think those were going for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm playing a little slow here, but we're working really hard to break through this and take the lead back. And with only a few more points left over, come on, come on. There we go, we've taken the lead again. Huge, huge, one minute remaining now. But we still have this lead, the points are still going down in our favor. I'm trying to play it safe and not go too far out at the moment so our teammates can jump over to us, but I am out of ink now. So, this is where things get scary. Okay, I got them. That was actually pretty big. Ah, but there's just too many people pointing at me. Come on, if we could just take it back and ride out the remaining 30 seconds, that'd be huge. Okay, jump it over to my teammate. And it looks like we are back in control for only 25 seconds now. If we can find a way to hold it. I'm really struggling with hitting them for some reason. See them up there. I don't know, not really going out as far as I would hope. Okay, I was able to jump clear over that one with 10 seconds remaining. How is that not getting, what? That was weird, I don't know. X on the reticle, I'm pressing the button. That is bizarre. It's in overtime now. If we could just take it from them, we win this one. It's gonna be all in now, and they're pushing themselves too far out here. I think at the least. I'm getting over here, if I can muster it. Come on. Gonna splat you, and then there's a person behind me. Where are my teammates? They're splatted. I can't believe this. If they take this, it'll be such a bummer. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening, and ah, uh, that's the worst. So I definitely do not prefer this map over Mahi Mahi Resort for this weapon, because I just, there was a lot of things that I just couldn't make work. It seemed like other weapons had a huge advantage, especially long range weapons. I think on this map can do way better. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I did what I could. Definitely room to play better though. So that's what we'll do next round is we'll play a little bit better, but two wins and a loss certainly isn't too bad. You get super jump spot and consumer first splat. So yeah, a little bit of something, but rough game overall. Let's go for another and see if that turns out a bit better. Well, we're gonna put it to the test here. We're at Hammerhead Bridge again. I would have rather have seen Mahi Mahi Resort, but Come on, this is our chance to maybe take a win this time. I mean, we certainly were very close last time, you know? All right then, so I'm getting out here as soon as I can. And I think, maybe just wanna put that there. Okay, we were able to track one player. I'm trying to be really careful of the players with the bubble weapon. I think that one can be a pain and, oh, do they have, they have an E-Leader 4K player. Well, that could be a disaster. Because sometimes it just is. But we'll jump over to a teammate because we have somebody over here. But you know what? I'm gonna try my best just to survive this for now. As they're in control, there's not too much I can do about it from this angle. Oh, but we tracked a bunch of them. I think our teammates must have tracked some too or something. Because that is a lot of tracking. And I'm missing every single shot there. I really need my accuracy not to fall in this situation or it's gonna be a disaster. But if we could use the zip caster to close in our distance on, um the longer range opponents. That's exactly what we need to focus on. So, just trying to get out here as soon as I can with that in mind, but these players, they're getting a little bit comfortable with the fact that they're in lead, so. Okay, able, no way! What a shot! This is part of the game where I wish we had some kind of way to see their perspective. I know with other shooter games, you can sometimes see that. It's like, okay, this is what they saw when they splatted you. You don't get that in Splatoon, and sometimes I wish I could see that because geez, that was ridiculous. So let's get over here and then over this way. And I'm gonna do everything I can to spy you. I was able to get you, but your teammates were there to support you and they're gonna have a clean sweep win because of that. Yeah, this, this weapon's just not gonna work for this map in my opinion. This one is super favorable to long range weapons because they have a couple of vantage points where they can just sit there and shoot you and you just, you, you can't really do much about it. You know, bottlenecks can be really difficult in Splatoon and this map is just a really long bottleneck in my opinion. So not gonna work this time, not too surprised. Okay, we're back in the resort. So once again, this is another way to put it to the test. Can we win on this one after having, like I said before, one of the best Splat Zones rounds we've ever had on this map just before. I'm a little curious to see how things work out this time. We're able to mark a player over there pretty quickly. And it looks like there's a bit of a brush battle going on over here. And it looks like they won. 
are trying to put a stop to this. And I'm gonna get one splat, but they're trying to really get me here. If I could just, how did that not mark that? I mean, I get it was a little bit off the mark, but like, come on, that feels a little unfair, right? Okay, I'd like to get some of this covered up. Try to really push him back a little, and then keep that nice and covered. Okay, that one, I don't really know what happened. Oh, I see you over here with the blaster. They tried to throw out their special, didn't quite work for them. If I could just, whoa, get over here. That was insane, actually, that was insane. Splat them before they can do anything. Ah, we're getting sent back. Oh man, they're waiting for me though, and somehow we got somebody else too? What did I even do to get them? I don't know. Okay, toss it, maybe like over there. I did get, no, no way! <laughs> Come on, we were playing so well. I guess somebody gave up. Yikes. All right then, so let's see. I guess I don't get to play on Mahi Mahi Resort. I wanna go for like at least one more game here, but I don't know, it's a big deciding one. If we lose this one, we're out of our ranked, you know, but I will just give it everything I got. We were able to mark a couple of players there, and we're in control to start things off. I wanna keep it that way. Oh, I see you, there we go. Uh, I see you over here, but they're able to dodge me super clearly there. Wasn't able to keep on top of them super well, so that was sort of a shame, but it's fine. We are going to just keep what we can. If we can take it back, we won't have any reserve. So help them with that Booyah Bomb a little bit and just get out there as soon as we possibly can. can. We're back in control, so no reserve for us for their first you know, 20 or so points there. It's actually pretty huge. We'll be able to destroy that, and then I see you over here. Whoa, got them? Okay, they got the shield to protect them now though, so we could pop that a little bit and just try to get them. Maybe we could just go up here. Gotcha, and then I'm getting over this way. For sure, wanna break that thing, and then get you there. Over here, oh man, almost went through the splat bomb. Oh my goodness, so more teammates jumping over to us here. I'm getting a little too close but luckily didn't get splatted. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another close one. I definitely want to destroy that as soon as possible. I don't want the distraction of it to get me splatted. Another one? Seriously? Come on, gotcha. I saw them over here. Luckily with this slasher, there's a lot we can do with it. Oh man, they are really trying to get me at the moment. And you know what, we gotta get out of here, but unfortunately I couldn't make a connection on anything. Darn, we're so close to winning this one, but now we have a reserve of 63 to earn through. That is gonna take us some time. So the sooner we can get back out there to take the control from them so that they aren't, you know, really closing in the distance here, that'd be great. All right, I saw you a little bit there, but not enough, not enough. So you know what, we're getting over here. I'm gonna cover this stuff up as much as I can muster. And then over here, maybe? I'm trying to, it's not working. It's not working. Ah, that's scary. I don't like it. Come on. They had all that time just to sit there and chill out? I don't know what happened to our team. That's so rough. Come on, there's no way they get through this entire reserve for this entire amount before we can like take it back, you know? It just, ooh, that'd be so frustrating. So just trying everything I can. Lost the lead. I cannot believe that. Okay. We get them now. I'm gonna get up here as soon as I can and try to spot them, but my teammates are going the same way, which isn't always the most useful thing. We need to spread out here a little bit. I'm getting over here. Oh, I see you over here. I got a little too close. My aim wasn't good enough for that one. But we're, you know, we're back in control, but we need to keep it. Now they have 70 points to work through, which, you know, it's great for us, but just, geez. It's gonna be really hard at this point to make this win work. Okay, I see you over here, and somehow I missed a lot of it, but able to splat this, right? And then you're gonna try to back up. There's just too much. There's like three different things attacking me at once. Come on. I can just only hope that if we're busy with that much stuff that our teammates are finding ways to move around at all, they lost control, which means we need to take it back here as soon as possible. Come on, put that there. It wasn't enough. Come on, see you over here. That's an easy splat. That's another one. Okay. Trying to, at the least, keep you back where you are. Because remember, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take control and then maintain it. This person's not gonna know I'm behind them, right? Able to splat them, jump over here just to cause a huge distraction, but they got so much stuff covered up. One minute remaining. Got that splat with our teammate. 
Got them, huge team wipe out. Here's our chance, guys. Here's our chance. Just trying to cover up what we can, maybe get another zip caster nice and ready. Because if they do show up over here, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was definitely my fault. I didn't think they'd be over there. So now, they might be in some trouble here. I need a few more seconds if, if you wanna. Oh no, how did they get over there so quick? Maybe they have their own zip caster? Oh no, gotta jump over that. Got a couple of direct shots. Man, what a good move by them. Okay, wait, did we win? I don't know, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Jeez, I thought I could get them there, but then they just turned around and spotted me, no problem. We might have won, because I don't think they took control there, right? Yeah, we won, awesome, I can't believe it. That was close, wasn't it? So, we can super jump spot an enemy splatter as well as one ground traveler, but I'm I'm, I'm glad we finally won around here on uh, Hammerhead Bridge. It's a tough map for me, at least with this weapon. So, I'm just so happy we made that work. Let's see how we're doing the thing. So, that is 14 splats in that round. We, we did a lot, for sure. We need to win two more times, but even if we were to lose this next game, or the game after or anything like that, I think it's fine because we've earned up a lot of medals. So I think we'll just try one more time here, win or lose, uh, we'll save the last, uh, like if we win this one, we'll save our last attempt at it with our next weapon showcase. But overall, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good. I think we're gonna get some good results for the series. Okay, well, it's Hammerhead Bridge again. Certainly gonna be a bit of a challenge, but Really goes to show, if we push ourselves, we can win it. We just have to really do everything we can muster. And they might take it at the beginning, but we just take it right back, right? Oh, ah, oh, couldn't quite reach them there. I mean, I got a little bit of it on them, but with the Splatter Shot Pro, they can definitely shoot us down from a distance. So things like that we're gonna be careful with. I'm not really too worried if they take a good lead in the beginning, as long as we can just take it back after. So I do see that you're like right down there. So if I could get you and not like really embarrass myself, I ran out of ink. I just need one more little droplet of ink. That's all I needed. We couldn't quite get it, so that's a huge shame, but we were able to take the lead back from them. Well, not the lead, but the control back from them. And if I could just get over here or something, I might just have to hold on for a second because our teammates aren't over here. So, oh no, you don't, no you don't. Come on, couldn't quite reach in there. All right. Sort of a shame. Gonna get over here, and then they don't see me, so maybe I could get them? I know I'm focusing all my energy towards it, but don't see what else I could do there. I mean, at the least it disrupted their crab tank. I think they're trying to turn the focus on me, so. I just, I can't get over there. Every time I even get close to it, they are just so fast. How are they that fast? Whenever I move, like, it just doesn't feel like it goes that quickly. It's crazy. Uh. Jump over to you, maybe. This might be a bad idea, we're about to see, but they lost control. It looks like we're very close to taking the control, so definitely just get up here, but come on, can I get you? There we go. Very low on splat so far, but we're back in control. They did take the lead there, obviously. I'm gonna get over here really quickly and try to sneak up on them. See if I can't get that splat. I couldn't. Um, no, okay, not quite gonna work out super well, but it's fine, it's fine. We're in control with it, so as long as I can maybe back up here a bit. I'm sorry, teammate, I don't really know why they jumped to me there. I was in trouble before they even started the jump, but uh, they're back in control, which is certainly confusing, or con concerning, not confusing. Uh, throw that up there, and yep, now we can see them, which means I can get that splat pretty well. I'm gonna do what I can with this, but able to take away the control, and then now I'm sort of stuck. I'm trying to get up on that ledge. But if I could just find a way behind some of them or something. I couldn't get that splat, even though I'm right in front of their face hitting them with it. Just wasn't enough for some reason. So I wanna jump to one of their team or our teammates here. Let's do what we can. They are really holding up a tough fight at the moment though. Okay, that was good. About to work through our reserve, but then we have so much more to do after. Just trying to play our cards right. Oh no! Okay, that was so scary. Oh no, whoa. I was looking a little bit too far ahead of me there. Luckily we're fine. 
but with that lead they've taken. Oh, we got that split. That was actually a huge one. I want to jump over here then, as soon as we can. Keep that control. Maybe even like get up here. Just be a nuisance. If I could get one more spot of it, couldn't unfortunately. But if I could have, that would have been huge because it's just a little bit of extra time bot. Oh no. Ooh, don't get spotted by that. Okay, because we're still in the control. We're about to finally work through our reserve, so I need to run away. Gotcha. There we go. We're through our reserve. We are so close to taking the lead with that too. So I don't know if that thing goes through the shield. It looks like it doesn't. Okay, one minute left. See you over here. So I'm just gonna try to get you. Sort of panicked a little bit there. We lost our control. So if we can take it back now, that means no reserve. Okay, I don't think I can beat the range. Ah, they're behind me. No, wait. Okay, I got it. Jumping over. There, 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 there. Okay, they don't see me over here with the, the crab tank, so I can maybe just get over here instead. Okay, that was huge. They lost control, but we're back to having a huge reserve. But with us being in the lead, I might be able to make this work. I'm just gonna do everything I can to win this. I see them over there, the Splatter Shot Pro. This is getting really scary. Jeez, it is so tough to catch up to them right now. But there we go, teammates going crazy, two 10 seconds remaining. If we can just keep it, if we can just keep it. Oh my gosh, I can not keep my breath right now. Oh, and look at that, we won. I can't believe it, my heart is beating so fast right now. That was quite the close one. They had the lead for so long, it was looking really, really bad, but we kept fighting and we got the win. We only get silver medals that time too. I feel like I got a little bit better than that, but I don't know. Definitely in terms of like splats and stuff, I didn't do as well that time. But I feel like there were just a couple of crucial moments that made everything work out super well. So, you know, overall, I I'm happy. I'm happy it worked out pretty well. We got almost 1,200 points that are earned up in total. 10 spots in total, it isn't bad. So next episode, we'll see what our final round is gonna have in terms of results. Either a win or a loss, we'll just have to wait and see. But for right now, we do get some extra ability chunks unlocked. Two of the same for the arrow pool ones, and we get our Sheldon license for this weapon. So I think that's a great time just to pause it. And we'll see what uh, Judd has to say over here. Always fun talking to Judd. The Autobomb can chase down opponents on its own. As soon as it lands, it detects nearby opponents, then heads towards the nearest one. If you think the opponent is hiding out, these are great for making them break cover. Autobombs are really fun. Try breaking a few targets with them. See, we, we've, we've tried this before, I've, uh, you know, in just in different weapon showcases, but practice breaking targets with the Autobomb, the one out with R, and it'll walk to the nearest target and explode. So we can just explode these, no problem. Got it. Okay, very fun. And I think I might have earned up at least one more uh, shell here. Yep, so we'll open that up. It is gonna have a banner. So, very cool looking banner. Maybe we'll equip that one now, just for fun. And while we're at it, I think we might have some more stuff in the general store. Can't really afford too much of the other clothing pieces, but there wasn't really too much in the shops last episode I wanted, so let's see. Our catalog level goes up. We'll get ourselves another kind of food ticket. And we have 14,000 coins right now. We could buy, you know, like some crusty snacks. And we got the blue squid bumper. I think that we have, we do not have the pink squid friends. You know what, we're gonna clear out the shop as much as we can in today's episode, that's great. So the other things are pretty darn expensive. I don't know if we'll be able to get to those in the next episode, but I already have the sea snail man, so it'd be all about trying to get the TRL graffiti. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, that was our look at the slosher deco weapon. I had so much fun with it, and definitely let me know your thoughts. You think this is a good weapon? Have you tried it? All the kind of cool stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.